Hi, I am that Paul guy, and it's Thursday. It's Thursday, September 12, 2019, and I have to apologize for my voice. I don't know what's going on, but um, sorry, folks, if it sounds a little bit weird. Uh, we're going to start off today with space news. SpaceX is going to test the Starliner, or the Starhopper slash Starliner. It's the test of the engine and everything, the Raptor engine from the Starhopper from a couple weeks ago and a couple weeks before that, that did like the 50 meter test and the 150 meter test. Uh, now they're going to strap this baby on a rocket and they're going to send it up 74,000 feet up into the air and do the test like that. Uh, they've already notified the FCC, NASA, stuff like that. They're getting all their ducks in a row. It's, uh, not sure exactly what time next month this is going to happen, but I do know that the 28th of this month, Elon Musk is going to kind of lay out his roadmap for exploration. And so we'll find out more then. Uh, probably what's going to happen with the Starliner, with manned missions, um, and stuff like that and what his what his plans are so uh, something exciting to look forward to on the 28th of this month and of course the Starliner being tested the uh, or more than likely early to mid next month October unfortunately uh, it's not all rosy for some space agencies the Japanese space agency JAXA uh, did have a fire on their launch pad September 10th they were trying to launch supplies up to the International Space Station and they noticed a fire it took about two hours to put out. They're not sure of the extent of the damage or how it started. So obviously uh, having to, to, to do that investigation and figure out what the cause was and how much damage might have been done is going to keep them from putting that launch up. But it's just kind of a reminder that this isn't easy stuff, folks. I mean, you know, I, I talk about rockets a lot and I like to talk about launches and stuff because, you know, it's, it's a pretty fascinating thing. But And they kind of make it look easy because almost every single week something's going on. But it's just a reminder that, you know, when you have something like this, it took two hours to put a fire out, you know. And so it, they're not even sure what kind of damage it did. And it just kind of reminds you that we put people up on these rockets sometimes. And so the danger is very, very real. And uh, even though it looks easy sometimes, it's a pretty fascinating and pretty remarkable thing they're doing, putting, putting man up into space. So uh, hopefully they get everything figured out and done and taken care of and they can uh, they'll be back, back going again real soon. In tech news this week, I really only have one story, and it's kind of surprising. Uh, it's an Apple story. Yeah, I know. Um, Apple's having their, their annual conference, and they announced the iPhone 11. Now, you might have heard that they announced the iPhone 11, and when it's coming out and all that stuff. But uh, this phone does not suck. Um, they, they did a lot of good things with this phone. It's got better cameras. It's got better battery life. It's got a better processor in it. And it's got a better price. This thing starts at $799. They're not trying to start you off at a grand and work backwards. They're actually, the starting price for the, the base Apple iPhone 11 is $799. Now, they do have a model that's $1,000 and a model that's $1,100. But that's pretty much the going price for some of these phones now. So uh, they, they really, I mean, and better battery life and all that stuff too, and it stays charged, charged longer uh, amidst all the other improvements. So uh, I gotta give it, you gotta give it to Apple because they really, from all of the looks of this thing, uh, they really, really did a, a good all around job on the whole story, not just one part of it or another. You know, here's the good stuff, don't pay attention to the bad stuff. I mean, the whole thing sounds like a good deal. Even down to their, their watch, the Apple Watch now is going to have an always-on display, so it's not like you have to activate it to look at it. You can treat it as a real live watch now. And even with that, it has a longer battery life. So kudos to Apple. I mean, uh, I, like I said, I'm not a huge Apple fan, but uh, good for them because they, they really did it right. Um, and it yeah, surprised a lot of people, I, I, myself included. So September 20th is when you buy the new iPhone iPhone 11. Oh, 8 and 10 are still going to be available, and their prices will probably be, they'll be adjusted or come down, but the iPhone 11 will come out on the 20th. Uh, in gaming news, do you miss your old Super NES? <laughs> you know you do. You miss games like Zelda and Star Fox and F-Zero and all that stuff, don't you? Well, uh, Nintendo's got the cure for you. Nintendo Switch Online on September 5th went live with a whole slew of Super NES games, including Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, uh, Super Metroid, and all that stuff, as well as the ones I mentioned. Uh, there's like 20 or so titles that have started out. They're, they have come out a couple dozen titles to begin with. Uh, some of the old classics that were Super Nintendo great games that 
some people maybe a little bit older like myself really really got into and like i mentioned before f-zero was one game that you really really that was a reason why to have the nintendo if you weren't necessarily a mario fan so uh, a really really good lineup a really solid lineup and a really nostalgic type lineup and to kick it all off they also will be selling a retro game pad so this is going to look have the look and the feel of the old super nes pad but it's going to be usb chargeable so uh, Nintendo, kudos to them too. They really did, you know, really did a number two. Uh, available, the games became available September 5th on Nintendo Switch Online. Um, the controller's not available yet, but stay tuned for details because that will be coming out shortly and you'll be able to order that from the website as well. So uh, good, good deal. Uh, good job, Nintendo. Really, really good job. Who didn't do a good job is PlayStation UK. Uh, they sent out a tweet the other day that stirred up all kinds of controversy and I think unnecessary controversy. They are saying now that we've been calling that, that fire button on the bottom of your controller the wrong thing this, this entire time. That it's not an X button, it's a cross button. And um, it, it got evidently it got a lot of people's underwear and a ball. And I don't know why because if you don't call it a cross button, call it an X button, who cares? But the thing that really kind of confuses me about this is you literally have a console called the Xbox that a competitor makes, complete with an X button on their Xbox controller. It's not a cross box, it's not a cross button on their controller, it's an X button. Face it, you've got an X button on your controller. And it, uh, you know what, you can call it a cross button if you want to. Car call it anything you want. Hey, call it Penelope for all I care. No, no offense to any Penelopes out there, but you can call it whatever you want because it's not going to make any difference. You still have to hit that button for you know basic moves and firing. So there you go. Uh, I, I really just think PlayStation UK ought to concentrate on other stuff like Brexit. Oh, look, another X. You can't get away from them. So uh, it's not, yeah, have fun with that one. Uh, in other news, probably my last story of the day, actually, uh, Destiny 2 is moving free-to-play on the PC through Steam. And why should you care? Uh, because if you're a current Destiny 2 player and you play on other platforms and you're trying to, you, you wish you could save it, say, from your Xbox to your PlayStation or your PC or whatever, you will now have the ability to do that through Steam. Uh, you won't be able to save your information or your backups or anything like that through Battle.net, which is Bungie's property, because all that stuff is swapping over on October 1st. The good part about this is all the stuff that you would have purchased normally, you'll be able to download for free and play for free on your PC. Uh, any future DLC or download content, you'll have to pay for, and there is an update coming on, uh, on the 2nd of October. But everything from here backwards is free to play and free to download. So, but you will have to go to uh, Steam's site, or actually it's Bungie's site, to be able to transfer that information to be able to make everything cross-savable. And I will leave a link for that in the description. So, it's a pretty easy process. It took me about 10 minutes. It was really, really easy. Um, I went to go sign in. They verified it was me. Uh, sent me an email, you know, one or two things of sending an email. Hey, look, here's your code to type in there. Boom, it was done. And it was pretty easy. So I will put that link down there. But you want to make sure that if you are an active Destiny 2, Destiny 2 player, that you get that done in the next couple of weeks because you won't be able to do it as of October 2nd. Just letting you know now. It's my job, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, as far as letting you know, the other thing I'm going to let you know is that's all i got for right now. So, uh, as always, folks, you feel welcome to share, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to remind you when all uh, these videos are coming out. You can thumbs up, you can thumbs down. You can give me any kind of comments you want. I love the feedback I've been getting. You guys have been wonderful. I, can't, I cannot say that enough, and I really, really appreciate the feedback. So feel free to keep doing that. Feel free to, uh, to keep leaving me comments and, and looking over and sharing videos and stuff like that. I certainly love it. And if you have any ideas for content, let me know that too, because uh, I, I, like I said, I'm doing this. I enjoy it, but I'm doing it because uh, I'm doing it for you guys. So uh, hopefully I'm putting out something that you guys would want to watch. Anyway, that's all for right now, folks. So until next week or until later this weekend or something like that, that's all I got. So I'll see you later.